Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBSN Denver. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday live guest, Fat Lieber, joining us tonight as we got set to talk about Game 7 between the Nuggets and the Clippers. Fat, we talked a lot about that during the show. I wanted to ask you, though, how advantageous is it for the Nuggets to have been here before? This is their fourth consecutive Game 7 of a playoff series. They won two, they lost one, and, of course, we'll see what happens tonight. But how big of an advantage? is that for them well initially I would say they would come in really nervous but because they've been through it before they're going to come in energetic and knowing that they came in as an underdog from the beginning now it's all behind them so they can just go out and play as if it's just another basketball game even though it isn't it's the t last game for someone but at the same time I think they have to go out that with that mindset hey we've never been here before We've come back down before. Let's just go out and play as loose as we can. And then when it gets down to the end of the game, just the uh, athleticism and basketball skills come into play. And I think the Nuggets have those skills. You and I talked about it during one of the commercial breaks. What an opportunity it would be for Michael Malone. It's his birthday today. So if his team goes out and gets a win in game seven, that's the best birthday present you could ask for. Hey, we also had a chance to talk about your career as a Nugget during the show tonight. I, I wanted to ask you, as we were digging up stuff, our, our crack producer, Eric Christensen, found that you're the number two all-time assist leader in Nuggets history. Eric was a little shocked by this do you know who's number one gotta be Alex English it is Alex English oh yeah what he owes every record <laughs> <laughs> right right that's a pretty safe guess but you know as much yeah. as he scored I think that's kind of what stood out was he scored a lot but apparently he passed mm -hmm. the ball a lot too yeah. yeah he did he was actually the best passer because one of our sign signature offensive moves was the old give and go so if I hit Alex on the break I pass to the wing cut to the basket, he give me the basketball right back to get an easy layup. So, yeah, he passes the ball pretty frequently. Yeah, yeah, that was a great combination <laughs> back in the day. Hey, uh, we also wanted to ask you about Doug Moe. What was it like playing for the Big Stiff back in those days? Oh, I loved it. From the standpoint that the pressure was never on you, it was always on him. And one of the things that when I first got to Denver, one of the things he would say is, don't look at me, just play. Don't look mm -hmm. at me, just play. And that gives you the idea that you're going to sit there. He's going to laugh and joke about you. One of the games we were talking about, and the other was the Utah game. I remember a game in Utah where was playing. Doug Moore had drawn up a play for Daryl Walker. And Mark Eaton blocked the shot. And Daryl was supposed to pass the ball out to Blair Rasmus for a jump shot. And he didn't. And Doug was like, what were you thinking? He says, I was going to make the shot. And he was like, Mark's blocked three of your shots already. What makes you think you're going to make this one? Blair was wide open. So, and he laughed about it, and that was the end of the ball game. So that easygoing momentum. But the other thing though about him, he would draw up the best end-of-the-game play situation that you could ever imagine, and you never ran him in practice. Really? So it was just kind of on the fly. He had him in his back pocket? On the fly, yes. Wow, wow, quite the talent. Well, Fat, this was great, man. Really appreciate you joining us. I know you're amped up for Game 7, as we all are. Uh, good luck to the Nuggets. Thanks again for coming on the show. Really enjoyed the visit, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Michael. And everybody watch for Alex English at the virtual uh, show tonight at the game. Yeah, he's going to be on the on the Jumbotron there at the stand, so we'll be, uh, be looking out for that for sure. Fat Lever, our guest tonight. That's going to do it for us. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBSN Denver.